And so many times when we live the Christian life, we always think, well, I can start off by doing, I can start off by walking, I can start off by doing things. No, you do not start off with that. You start off by believing God, by trusting Him, by putting your faith upon Him. And that faith will make you walk, and that faith will make you work, and that faith will give you the confidence that you have in God, in Christ, that you can do many things for God. God is able. In Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 20, I'm not going to preach about blessed beyond measure, but I'm going to use one word in this verse and preach about it. It says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Why are we blessed above measure? Why? Because God is what? God is what? God is what? Able. That's what I'm going to preach tonight. God is able. You want to be blessed above measure? You've got to believe God is able. In Romans chapter 4, verse number 17 to 21, it says, As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him who, whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead, and called those things which be not as though they were, who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, what? He was able also to perform. How can we bless beyond measure? God is not only able, but God is able to perform every promise that he gave us. Well, our God is a great God. And there is no other God before him, the Bible says. He is sovereign. Nothing is hidden from him. He is a loving God. He understands what we are going through. Let me repeat that. He understands what we are going through. For whatever you're going through right now, he understands that. So gracious, always kind, and always forgiving. God does not condemn quickly. He gives mercy quickly, not condemn. And therefore, who are we before him? We are nothing but weak, wicked, wayward. And all of what man is, we are unable, but God is able. I have five things to tell you about God being able. First of all, God is able to save to the uttermost. God is able to save to the uttermost. Hebrews 7.25 says, Wherefore, He is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by Him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. We cannot, but He can. We cannot save ourselves, but God can through Jesus Christ. 
We cannot forgive our sins, but God can forgive our sins. We cannot deliver ourselves from eternal punishment, but God can. God is able. Through the atoning work of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are saved. Because Jesus Christ came, died on the cross of Calvary, shed his precious blood, suffered for us, and through the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ, he became our Savior. And being our only Savior, God is able to save us to the uttermost. We do not need any intermediary. We do not need any help for God to save us. Why? God is more than enough. God is not telling us, you know what? I can only save you if you're going to help me save you. No. Alam nyo, pag ang isang tao ah, ay nahulog sa dagat, hindi siya marunong lumangoy, at siya ay malulunod, di ba? Merong lifesaver na siyang magliligtas sa kanya mula sa pagkalunod. Am I right? Na kapag yung nalulunod na yan, ay gusto niyang tulungan yung lifesaver, ha? tutulungan ko yung lifesaver para ako ay hindi malunod. Anong ginagawa ng lifesaver? Ha? Sinusuntok yan hanggang may matay. Pak! Oh, pag naimatay na siya, then the lifesaver, the lifeguard, can save him. You see? Hindi kailangan ng Diyos ang tulong mo para ikaw ay maligtas. Am I right? Kinakailangan lamang. For example, like kung ikaw nalulunod sa dagat, hindi ka marunong lumangoy, andyan yung lifeguard, gusto kang iligtas, pero ang sayo mo sa kanya, no, 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 kaya ko to. Kaya ko to. All right? Anong gagawin ng lifeguard? Okay, kaya mo pala, hindi nagtutulungan, so nalunod ka. Di ba? Now look, sa lahat ng ating mga bisita, hindi mo kaya ito. Tindihan niyo ba ako? Wala kang anumang kakayahan. In fact, hindi mo kayang mabuhay sa mundong ito. Oo. Hindi mo kayang bigyan ang sarili mo ng buhay. Am I right? Hindi mo kayang pakainin ang sarili mo. Hindi mo kayang tulungan ang sarili mo. Hindi mo kayang pigilan ang kamatayan mo. Tama ba ako mali? Yeah? You're not able even to prevent yourself from dying. You're gonna die as sure as I'm standing here right now. You see? But you know what? God is able to save you. God is able to deliver you from sin. God is able to give you everlasting life. God is able to prevent you from dying, being separated from God. Through what? Through the Lord Jesus Christ. To the atoning work of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, kinakailangan lamang, you come to a point in your own life, you begin to realize you cannot do anything to save yourself from sin and hell, and that God is offering Himself to you. O nung, kung, kung wise ka at marunong ka, you are going to come to Jesus Christ and open your heart to Him because God is able to save you to the uttermost. <clears throat> Pero makikita mo rito, ang sabi ng Bible, that come unto God by Him. He is able to save you to the uttermost if you come to God by Jesus Christ because He is the only way, the truth, and the life. So I'd like to invite you later When we give the invitation tonight, I'd like to invite you who are visitors. Maraming bisita siguro dyan sa Riyadh. May mga bisita sa iba't ibang mga congregations natin. I want to invite you to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your heart to Him. Repent 
of all your wrong belief and wrong notions. Repent in a life of sin and come to Christ and receive him to your heart as your personal Savior. Trust in him alone because he is able to save. Secondly, God is able to keep us from falling. God is able to keep us from falling. If you're looking, if you are actually going to the verses, what you can do is just underline the word able or God is able. You see, in Jude 24 and 25, it says, Now unto him, that is what? That's what? Able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Verse 25 tells us of the character of God, okay, that makes him able. Oh, diba? He has glory, he has majesty, he has dominion, he has power, he is our, our wise God, our only Savior, and he is able. He's not only able to save you from sin, he is also able to keep you from falling. I don't even say none. The moment you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, open your heart to Him and trust in Him, you're not going to go to hell anymore. You will not lose your salvation anymore. You are what? Eternally secure in Christ. Amen? Huh? Eternally secure in Christ. The Lord is keeping me secure in His mighty hand. And with that, I cannot fall from grace. I cannot fall from grace. Why? His grace is abundant. His grace is sufficient and greater than all my sins. Oh, di ba? Hindi na ako yung... Uh, Hindi ko alam kung paano mo maapuhap yan i-translate sa wikan Tagalog. Pero gusto kong sabihin sa lahat na pagkatapos natin tanggapin ang Panginoon sa ating buhay, tayo ay sinecure ng Diyos. Palagay ko, naunawa niyo na yun, di ba? O, sinecure tayo ng Panginoon. Remember my preaching to you last Sunday, safe, secure, and safe. Oh, we are secured in Christ. We are eternally and totally secured in Christ. We are in the hands of Jesus. We are in the hands of the Son of God. We are in the hand of the Father. Okay? Hindi ikaw ang umahawak sa Diyos, kundi ang Diyos ang siyang umahawak sa iyo. That is what? Eternal security. Eternal security. Kawa-awa naman ng tao na tatanggap sa Panginoong Yesu Kristo, ang magkakasala ng kaunti, mawawala ang kaligtasan, tatanggap uli sa ating Panginoon. You know what I'm saying? Palagi na lang ganyan. O ilang libo mo na tinagawa ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. E paano yan? Kapag nagkasala ka, bigla ka na aksidente. Namatay ka. Sa paniniwala mo, sa impyerno ka. Am I right? So, balit sa sinasabi ng banalang kasulatan, pag tinanggap mo ang Panginoon sa buhay mo at ikay naligtas, wala ng pagkakataon na tanggalin pa ng Diyos ang iyong kaligtasan. Yan ang tinatawag na eternal security. He is able to keep us from falling as He is able to save us to the uttermost. Thirdly, he is able, as He is faithful, to deliver us from temptations. He is able, 
as He is faithful to deliver us from temptation. In 1 Corinthians 10.13, it says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above what you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. The word temptation here also refers to trials of life. Hindi lamang yung temptation to sin, but also trials that we experience in our lifetime. All right? The Bible says that, hey, listen, the temptation we experience, the trials we experience, uh, it might be so big on us, but God is faithful. And God is able. In Hebrews 2.18, For in that he himself had suffered being tempted, he is able to succor or help them that are tempted. Now look, God does not want us to live in sin. God wants us to be godly. Amen? Oh, I get so wretched, as the Bible says, as Paul says, when I sin, do you know why? Because I offend the Heavenly Father. Because I grieve the Holy Spirit. Now look here. There is a statement you should realize. I sin because I want to, not because I have to. I sin because I want to, not because I have to. Now, do you know what John the Beloved said in 1 John chapter 2? Huh? In 1 John chapter 2, this is what John the Beloved tells us. Diba? Anong sabi? My little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have what? An advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. We still sin every day. A lot of theologians will speak of the sin of omission, the sin of commission. You don't even know that you have sinned against God. Am I right? The Bible says we are urged not to sin, but if we sin, we have the advocate. We have our Heavenly Father. So He is able, as He is faithful, to deliver us from temptations and the trials of life. And number four, He is able to guide us through the trials of life. He is able to guide us through the trials of life. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 9, And He said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, would I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. I think you have read my posting on my Facebook account. Am I right? Saying that life is so ironic. Right? Oh. But you know, the greatest thing that we have as believers in Christ is the grace of God. You see? My grace is sufficient for thee. In Daniel chapter 3, verse number 17, if it's so, and if be so, these uh, three Hebrew children, they were cast into the fiery furnace. Tinapun sila sa isang hurnung Hurnuan, di ba? Apoy. At kinukumusta ng hari? Anong sabi nila? If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and He will deliver us out of thine hand, O King. God whom we serve is able. He is able to guide us through the trials of life, kahit na gano'ng katindi ng trials na ito, at times, you know, 
Uh, there are times in our own lives we realize that the, the trials that we are experiencing are too great to bear, isn't it? Oh, sometimes it's too great to bear. Kahit ako na very mature na sa pananamparataya, kahit ako na, you know, I know what spirituality means. There are times in which the trials of life and the temptations of life are just so hard to bear. All right? But God is able. God is able. Number five, He is able to give us victory beyond what we can imagine. He is able to give us victory beyond what we can imagine. Again, going back to Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. And take note here how Apostle Paul described God. He described God to be what? Huh? To do exceeding abundantly. Just imagine the superlatives used here. Diba? Exceeding abundantly. Now, if we have a God that is able to do exceeding abundantly, how can we doubt Him? How can we not believe Him? Diba? How can we not depend on Him? Oh. So He is able to give us victory beyond what we can imagine. We have such a big God. Let us not be afraid to prove Him. All things are possible to Him that believes. And that is what the Lord Jesus Christ said. All things are possible to those that believe. What I read to you in the book of Romans chapter 4 is the life of Abraham. How we live by faith. He did not start off by walking. He started off by faith. And when he believed, he began to walk. You see? And so many times, when we live the Christian life, we always think, well, I can start off by doing. I can start off by walking. I can start off by doing things. No. You do not start off with that. You start off by believing God. By trusting Him. By putting your faith upon Him. And that faith will make you walk. And that faith will make you work. And that faith will give you the confidence that you have in God, in Christ. That you can do many things for God. God is able. First of all, God is able to save to the uttermost. So sa ating mga bisita, come to the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Come to Him and be saved. God is able to keep us from falling and if you come to Christ and you open your heart to Him and you get saved, you are eternally secure in Christ. And thirdly, God is able, as He is faithful, to deliver us from temptations. He is able to deliver us from temptations. And then fourthly, God is able to guide us through the trials of life. And then lastly, God is able to give us victory beyond what we can imagine. Shall we stand? God is able. Heavenly Father, now we know from your word, dear God, that, that we can be totally confident in you because you're able. You're able to save us from sin. You're able to save us from hell. You're able to keep us from falling, dear God. 
You're able, Lord, to deliver us from temptation. You're able to deliver us from the trials of life. And dear God, you're just, you're just so able, Lord, to give us the victory in our lives as we live for you. May not be the, be, be the one to bless our invitation tonight, Lord, as we give it. That those that are our visitors this evening would realize that they can completely trust in you. Completely believe in you, Lord, because you're able. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.